what is this law saying? It says that strength of sensation failed is directly proportional to log of stimulus intensity. Just take an example. If someone prick you with the needle, then you will feel less pain. As compared to if someone hit you with the axe, it means what is happening? That is, if you increase the intensity of the stimulus, then what is happening? Then strength of sensation failed is increasing. Got it? So, this is nothing but Weber Fechner law, which says that strength of sensation failed is directly proportional to log of stimulus intensity. Intensity of stimulus is increasing, then strength of sensation failed is also increasing. This is Weber Fechner law. Got it? Now, Next law is Bell Majendie law. It is a very simple law. What is this say? What is this law saying? It says that ventral root of spinal nerve is motor and dorsal root is sensory. So, here you can see this is dorsal root which is sensory and the ventral root which is motor. That is it. So, this is Bell Majendie law. Next law is law of projection. Here you can see the pain pathway which is arising from leg and going to the brain. Okay. So, if along this pathway I stimulate this nerve at any point, then remember the sensation field is referred to its site of receptor. I am repeating it once again, just listen carefully. Here you can see the pain pathway from the leg. If along this pathway I stimulate at any point, then sensation field is referred to its site of receptor which is present in leg. Got it? So, this is nothing but law of projection. Let us see. On stimulation of sensory pathway at any point, sensory pathway at any point, sensation are referred to the site of receptor. Got it? So, this is about law of projection. Now, phantom limb phenomenon. Remember, phantom limb phenomenon, what is phantom limb? Here, the patient is having pain or other sensation in amputated limb. How it is happening? This phantom limb is based on law of projection. Mm -hmm.